if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about one of the causes of biodiversity loss. We listed out four causes. One was habitat loss and fragmentation, which we already talked about. The second one is over exploitation. The third is invasion of alien species and the fourth is co-extinction. So, we will be talking about the other three now. Let us start with over exploitation. This is the second one over exploitation. Over exploitation is when we start using the natural resource more than what we require, and then that if is of organisms, living organisms, then that particular species is lost. So, because of this over exploitation in last few hundred years, there are some species which have been lost or which, is, which are now extinct. Some examples are dodo. Dodo was, now we are using the term or the word was, that means they do not exist anymore. So, dodo was a bird in Mauritius. It was killed for its meat and it was killed to such an extent that the bird got extinct. We will take this example of dodo in uh, co-extinction also. Another example is Stellar's sea cow and passenger pigeon. These are three uh, animals which got extinct in recent past and in every case it was more than needed exploitation. So, when we normally say that when need becomes a greed then ultimately it results into this condition and because of this these species are extinct. Same things are happening for marine fishes. There are ships which are going into the ocean to harvest fishes and they bring tons and tons of fishes. Now the rate of reproduction of those fishes is not at that rate at which we are harvesting them. So their number is decreasing, a stage will come when those species will uh, also become extinct. So this is another reason for loss of biodiversity. The third is invasion of alien species. There are some important examples which will help us understand what happens when an alien species invades. Now why would an alien species uh, invade? Alien species means it is not the indigenous one, it does not belong to that particular area. So if a foreign species which we are using the word alien for is introduced in a particular area then the species which remains there slowly gets extinct. That means the alien species grows, reproduces at a faster rate and the local or the indigenous variety slowly becomes extinct. What is the reason for that? The reason is that when a foreign species, an alien species enters into a new environment, in that new environment one there is no 
uh, natural killer of that particular species or there is no natural uh, pathogen which would infect this species. So, as there is no predator, no pathogen which would attack this species, the species is going to grow in an uncontrolled manner because in every environment the number of uh, organisms is kept under check by the predators or diseases. So, as there is nothing for this newly entering species, its number is going to increase, it is going to take all the resources because their number is increasing and the local or the indigenous variety is ultimately going to go on becoming smaller and smaller or their number is going to decrease. Few important examples, Nile perch introduced in Lake Victoria. So, Nile perch was an alien species for this Lake Victoria and they must have reproduced there. Their number increased so much that 200 species, local species of Kiklid fish got extinct. One more example, there are few more uh, examples of these kind that is alien species. One is Parthenium, which is commonly known as carrot grass. Now, this Nile perch was introduced into the Victoria Lake. Parthenium was not introduced, it entered accidentally along with the cargo ships which were bringing some grains. So, along with the grains, Parthenium seeds, they also entered India if we are talking about. Now, here because of no natural competition, no natural uh, predator or an animal which would feed on this Parthenium, the number of these plants increased in an uncontrolled manner. And because their number was increasing, they were extracting all the minerals, water from the soil and those resources were becoming limiting for the naturally existing plant varieties. Similarly, lantana is another example and ecornia that is water hyacinth. Now, if we compare parthenium and ecornia, parthenium is an alien species, it entered accidentally. And Ecornia was brought because of its ornamental value. It was introduced into the lakes in Bengal and it multiplied in such a number that it would cover the entire lake in few days. And because it was growing in the lake, it would extract all the oxygen from the water and the other aquatic forms were getting affected. And that is why this Ecornia is commonly known as terror of Bengal. So, alien species invasion, it can be uh, for by, a, by purposeful in invasion that means we are bringing them in or accidental. In both ways it is going to result into loss of the natural biodiversity of that particular area. The fourth reason or cause for biodiversity loss is coextinction. We have heard of many uh, relationships amongst organisms in which the interdependence is so much that if you remove one, the other one is automatically going to get extinct. And as I told you here, we will take the example of dodo and Calvaria tree. Dodo would feed on the seeds only on the seeds of Calvaria tree 
and the seeds of calvaria tree would germinate only when they would pass through the digestive system of dodo. So the interrelationship was so uh, strong that survival of these two was because of the other one. So dodo survived because the tree was there, the tree survived because dodo was there. And dodo got extinct because of this over exploitation. So if one of the two becomes extinct, the other automatically becomes extinct. So now what happens in Mauritius as the number or the dodo got extinct, Calvaria tree which is um, an indigenous variety of Mauritius, its number also started to decrease. No new Calvaria tree, trees were growing. So what they did was because they were able to pinpoint this uh, very quickly, they introduced some other birds very similar to dodo. One such bird was turkey and they fed this turkey with the seeds of Calvaria tree. Some 10, 20 percent seeds germinated and that is how they are able to revive this Calvaria tree. We have also uh, studied some examples when we talk of pollination, a pollination, pollinator uh, relationship. So one was a fig that is hypanthodium and blastophaga. Blastophaga lays its eggs inside that hypanthodium. In hypanthodium there are three types of flowers, the male flowers, the female fertile female flowers and the sterile female flowers. The sterile female flowers are like this. So Blastophaga would lay its eggs here and because it is happening inside that hypanthodium which is this type and here are these gall flowers. So, because this flower is known as gall flower and Blastophaga is commonly known as the gall wasp. So, it would lay its eggs here. It is a secured uh, environment for the eggs and as soon as the eggs would uh, hatch, they would feed on this particular flower. So, there is no loss to hypanthodium because this flower anyways is sterile. But when the, mo uh, the wasp goes out and comes in for laying the eggs because it is going to move from one hypanthodium to the next, it is going to bring the pollens from the other hypanthodium. That means it is helping in cross pollination. The relationship is such that if fig is not there, blastophaga will not be able to reproduce and if there is no blastophaga, pollination fertilization will not take place in fig or ficus. So, such type if suppose for example fig gets extinct, blastophaga automatically will get extinct. So, that is why we are using the word co-extinction. So, uh, pollinator and the plant relationships also are very important. One more example is yucca flower and yucca moth. This yucca moth is Pronuba yucca cella. So, this moth and the yucca flower, again the relationship is such that if one gets extinct, the other one will automatically be extinct. So, there are four main reasons because of which biodiversity loss takes place and these examples which we have taken are very important when we are talking about these categories. Now in the next part we will take up why should we conserve biodiversity.